Hi. You want to do it or you want me to do it? No, I did it last time. It's your okay, turn. My turn. Yeah. Hello, ladies, gentlemen, dogs, cats, gerbils, hamsters, whoever may be listening or watching. Welcome to the Waft episode 18 live. Not from the Franklin Bedroom Podcast Studios, but from the beautiful views of Eagle, Colorado. And there are forest fires that away. Oh, you can't really see the views because it's hazy because of all the smoke. Yeah. But they're there. They are there. Um, yeah, so we are out in Colorado and it is is somber the word I'm looking for? Yeah. I think a lot of people think we're out here on a vacation. We are not on a vacation out here. A lot of people know Emily's grandmother passed away a few weeks ago. So we're out here for a little uh, memorial with her family. And it was just easier not to say that to every person when they're like, enjoy your vacation. And everyone's like, oh my God, I have so much fun. I'm like, yeah, it's going to be great spreading ashes. Yeah. But so, but you it know, is what it, is. it is what it is. And that is why we are out here. So it is kind of a, uh, you know, somber circumstance, but it's the first time that uh, all four of her family members and myself have been together since Christmas when we were hit with her grandma last. So it's kind yeah. of a nice, you know, bringing back together as well. It's uh, definitely very weird to lose someone during coronavirus because you can't have a funeral. And so we're just doing the best we can by getting together and celebrating and spending some time together. Yeah. So there's that. There's that. And uh, I, I guess to bring it back on a lighter note, on our way back that away, which that would way that'd be east for you that don't have a compass right now. We are uh, stopping on the way back on Wednesday. And guys, it's happening. Well, first of all, my watch is going off right now because as the accountability buddy, I got to check in with somebody. So I'm going to snooze it for 10 minutes and then that person will get checked in on. But on our way back, what are we doing? Well, to follow up from the great puppy debate, we have decided to move forward with getting a puppy. It's happening, people. It is happening on Wednesday. It just happens to be on our way back from Colorado. Mm -hmm. So after driving for seven hours, we will then pick up our little puppy who we have decided to name Chipper. Yes. Chip, our, Chip for short, but his official name is going to be Chipper. Chipper. I'm yeah. a diehard Braves fan, Atlanta Braves fan, and Chipper Jones is one of the many reasons for that. So, And he looks like a Chipper. And I'm a Beauty and the Beast fan. And so Chip is the teacup who is super cute. So, yeah. you know, kind of all works out. And he looked like a chip. He's a gold adore. So golden lab mix. So freaking cute. He's going to be at the studio a lot. <sighs> yeah. Our studio puppy. We're expanding our family. So be nice to him. I know. And don't steal him. Yeah. <laughs> don't steal him. But you can like watch him anytime while we're working. Feel free. Yes. So that's exciting news going on with that. And... Yes. So, first of all, we if we do plan episodes, it is very, very rough. I didn't plan shit, pardon my language. <laughs> didn't plan shit for this one. So, this might be the shortest episode in history. But speaking of that four-letter word that is kind of like feces, I, <laughs> I have learned that our members, you know what? You guys are a lot like me. I'm not, I'm not really Emily, but I understand why I get along with so many of you so well at Cycle Bar because everybody poops and everybody <laughs> thinks it's funny and everybody talks about it. And I just think that I am, you know, I'm helping bring that out and letting you know it's okay, people. Like, laugh at it. And on the way out here, uh, Emily's brother, first of all, it sucks for him. He drove from Louisville. Mm -hmm. To Omaha, I got in at like midnight, and then we woke him up at four in the morning <laughs> and drove another nine and a half hours out here. So like 19 and a half hours, 20 hours in a car with four hours of sleep sounds miserable. But on our way yeah. out here, he clued us in. He's 32 years old that he pooped himself recently. <laughs> yeah, he, he was going to be a guest on the podcast to talk about his pooping himself experience. Uh, I was talking to him the other <laughs> night, and he was like, yeah, I, sh I shit my pants the other day. Because he ate, he just ate, like, a whole bag of Sun Chips, and then he ate, um, what was it, a whole box of Captain Crunch, and then he ate something else, just like, all a, in one sitting. A bunch sitting, of junk food, just a bunch of junk food. A bunch food. of junk food, and then he was on the phone with my mom, and it just hit him, and he apparently had to be like, mom, I gotta go, shit his pants, 
full on, he said the wet diaper situation. So apparently, I mean, I can't speak to this, but I guess as, you know, maybe it's something that happens in your 30s. Getting older, yeah. Yeah, like I'm not in my 30s yet. So maybe, you know, he's 32, you're 31. Yep. So maybe it's like once you hit your 30s, you start shitting your pants. So this week's episode of the podcast is brought to you by Depends, <laughs> the adult diaper. We need them to be a sponsor. Shout out. Yes. We were actually talking about that in the car because we have baby bladders. Andrew didn't have to oh pee at God. all. And we had to stop and it was rough. Every three hours. And like, I was like, I think we need diapers because we could get there oh, so much no, quicker. This is a great co- Okay. This is a good segue. We didn't plan anything, but a hot debate, not even debate, just topic we talked about on the car trip here. Ladies, this is tough for you, and I'm curious yeah. if you can even do it. But peeing in a bottle while driving or a cup, because I hate stopping, and especially with my baby bladder, it's like every two hours or even hour and a half. I haven't, I, I didn't drink anything, mm-hmm. maybe like a sip, but like an hour and a half into drive. I'm like, oh god, I can, I start to feel it, and I hate stopping, even though it's only like a five minute detour. Hate it, so I'll push through, and then you get like thirty more minutes, two hours, and oh god, this sucks. Two and a half hours, oh man, not good. Yeah. But you don't want to stop every, you don't want to have to stop four or five times on a nine hour trip. So then we discussed, you know. The anxiety. Apparently, there's a lot of anxiety around peeing into a bottle. This was like literally a 45 minute conversation that I started to nap during because I was like, I'm over this. But yeah, apparently, it's very anxious to try and drive and pee into a bottle. But the key is what? A Gatorade bottle? So, a Gatorade bottle has a bigger mouth um, to go into. But there's there's two things with this you're driving solo. And you're trying to do this, and then like you're, you, you, I'm tall, so I kind of got to push myself up. And you're trying, While to, driving. you're trying to prop the bottle, and you're trying to make sure no one's behind you coming up too fast, and then you're not coming up on anybody. Super safe, this mind you. This sounds very dangerous. Super safe. So that's one aspect. And then you're sweating. You're like, okay. And then if you can start to go, do you overfill it? Or do you get anxious if you get too? too close to overfilling it. So that's one aspect if you're by yourself trying to do it, which I don't recommend, but you know, sometimes you got to. If you're not by yourself, do you have someone help you? So I've never been in this situation. Like if I've been in this- You gonna hold the bottle while you do it? I've been in this situation, if you're in like uh, high school playing like baseball, you're on your way home from a game, everyone has Gatorades post game, and bus driver, you're not gonna be like, bus driver, stop, I need to take a piss. Like. You just go, like, everyone has their own little pew. You just kind of go off to the side in the Gatorade bottle. That's pretty common. But, what? yeah. You whip your dick you don't out see it. in front of other people no. in a bus and pee? I'm by myself. You give me my privacy. You don't look the at my... The person next to you could be like, uh, you have, what's I, going on? It's not like a public transportation where I'm sitting next to someone. I have this whole road to myself. And I just kind of do my thing down here and pee in a cup. Big whoop. Ladies, don't do this. Cap don't that know. bad boy, no. and you're good to my, go. Here's my question that I meant to ask, because what the fuck do you do? I'm sorry, excuse me, lady, but what do you do with your bottle of pee in the car? Well, first of all, you if see, this is why you use a bottle. You cap it. Yeah, but then you, what? You just keep it in the you, car? If you have Actually, a bag. Actually, this does remind me of two guys that we used to hang out with all the time in college on the basketball team. And when we were freshmen and they were sophomores, and we would hang out with them, and they had... Bottles of pee in their bedroom. Because in the middle of the night, they'd be, like, too lazy to, like, walk to the bathroom. And so they would pee in Gatorade bottles. And then they would just be, like, in the room. And they would, like, forget to throw them out. It was foul. See, like, that's who just, does that? That's just lazy and disgusting. They Andrew just... would pee in the sink in college. They had a sink in their in their dorm room, and he would pee in the sink. See, the other... Guys, moral of the story, guys are disgusting. Um, No. Yes. But yeah. so are so are females. No. Or let's let's be we all poop. We all talk about poop. We're all disgusting. Let's just embrace it. Let's not spread hate about. Let's not let's not poop and pee shame here. You're <laughs> you're being you're being a poop and a pee shamer. Pam Harwin and I don't poop. We don't <laughs> fart and we don't talk about it. So we are you're poop talking, shamers. We're you're talking shamers. about it now. We're probably the number one poop podcast in, in the Midwest right now. Yeah, that's <laughs> number the, one poop the, podcast prob- in the Midwest. Probably the tagline <laughs> of this episode. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, at but, least we're known for something. Yeah. So I've never had that situation where I'm like in the passenger seat, but then you get stage fright. Like the person driving, like, dude, don't look at my junk. I'm trying to pee. I get stage fright while yeah. peeing in general. Yeah. Like in a public restroom. So I may or may not have had this happen before where I'm just oh, going to tell. God. So oh, God. this is a great story for me. I was driving middle of Missouri going to Lake of the Ozarks. And I had a can and, you know, you can pop like this down and make it wider. But then you got to worry about like sharp edges. I'm a dumbass. We've already established this. We know this. I was driving and tried to go in the can. As I started to go, 
I realized this is just not going to work. So I had to pinch it, stop it, and then there's no gas station. You're in the middle of Missouri. Like if you've driven to Lake of the Ozarks, there's no gas stations for quite a while. So I just pull off to the side and like just a random exit, go to my passenger side, open my door up, and I like sit there like this. My door is open here and I'm just... I just act like I'm like trying to check some wiring or something at my door and I kneel down on one knee and just be on the side of the road. You are ridiculous. You are ridiculous. But it, it's, it's, it pays to be a guy because you can get away with stuff like that. We stopped today and uh, Emily almost peed her pants. So she's like, next stop, we have to stop. We pull off of this. Ske- there's a sketchy, <laughs> sketchy motel that was popping. Oh, there was at least 20 cars. It was cars. literally like, it was uh, like Breaking Bad. Like we were in Straight Breaking, breaking bad. bad. And then I go into this gas station, which is like not a gas station. It's like, it says restaurant. And these two uh, Asian, uh, cu- this Asian couple owns it. And I go in and they have like the weirdest, like Hello Kitty stuff, but like also like just super weird stuff in there. And I run to the bathroom and I'm, there's a note on the door that says, you know, out of order order and so I asked them I'm like oh, do you not have a bathroom and they're like oh our well water ran out so I run out and Andrew's smoking a cigarette I'm like we got to go right now get back in the car eight more miles down the road eight more miles down the road we found an even sketchier shell that, but but for a, but for a guy I'm just like I'm going on the side of the building and, and it's done deal so females, I was about to go outside yeah so I'm, I'm curious a ladies has has anyone let us know you can dm us if you don't feel comfortable commenting just let us know have you ever peed like had to pee in a cup in a car because I, I don't even know if that's possible. I don't know. Sarah how you... Wallace. I know Sarah Wallace. They had a pee cup. They had a pee cup on her road trips. I hope she watches this because, oh God, yes, yes, her okay. dad made them. They wouldn't be able to stop. And so they had a family <laughs> pee cup. A family I remember... They cheered it. <laughs> I remember. And it was in the car. And it was the pee cup. And I remember her telling me this story. My God. <laughs> yeah. Um... Yeah, and then two, in a dire situation, are you just are you going on the side of a building if you have to? What what's your play? What's your play? Oh God, it's been ten minutes. It's We're all right. Too fast. Yes. I mean, too long. So that's that. Not the shortest episode ever of but the it, best poop podcast the number, in the Midwest. The number one poop podcast in the Midwest. <laughs> Getting those t-shirts made tomorrow. <laughs> the waft, watch out. Candles officially coming. Hopefully October. If you've smelled them at Cycle Bar, I hope you've enjoyed them. Um, as I told a few members, I have to mass produce them. I sound so official. Yeah, you really are. Anyway, mm-hmm. that's that's an episode, people. We're going to get back to the uh, the smogginess here and go celebrate uh, Audrey tomorrow. And yeah. we'll see you guys Wednesday with the puppy. Peace out. Peace out, Cub Scouts. Cubby Scouts. Pew.